What's going on everyone, Charlie here. I'm gonna show you how to utilize data to analyze what's happening in the markets and you can do so pretty easily. And this is where it's getting awesome as far as trading is concerned is because the data quality and products that are out there and available to use is really how you find your edge. Now here at FUDSTOP, the way we have the server set up for our Discord is we like to have the feeds come in for as far as feeds, I'm, I'm saying dark pools, unusual options, golden sweeps and quant alerts those all come in broken down by industry and sector for us already. Uh, we have the communication sector right here. Each one of these channels basically is your repository for all of your dark pool feeds, quant alerts, golden sweeps, so on and so forth. We also have earnings guidance and SSR alerts as well and regulation show. Now, that being said, what if I wanted to grab all and only all of the unusual options feeds for every single sector and industry and visualize them from a data perspective to gather some intel on where the market could be heading and develop somewhat of a trading plan around it. Well, we can actually do that now in today's day and age and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So instead of going through each individual channel here and extracting out the unusual options that I want to record, there's a couple other things I could do. I could do a SQL server, which would basically reroute it to my local computer and then I could load it that way or I'm going to show you the more easy way that you at home could do as well uh, in some spare time and I'll walk you through the whole process. So on top of having everything set up individually by industry and sector, I also have it set up by consolidated version. So for data collection, you would want to come to the actual unusual options channel, which is actually the entire market brought into one channel, consolidated unusual options feeds for the purpose of data extraction. Because again, if I went through every single one of these channels here, it would take quite a bit more time to get the data that I want. So the program I'm gonna be using to do this is the Discord Chat Exporter. This is the one I like to use. Basically you log in, once, once you're in, you can see your Discord and you pick the channel that you want to download. So in this case, I've selected unusual options, I've downloaded it, and I've loaded it into my Excel spreadsheet. Now when you first load it in, it's gonna load just like this. Okay, there's just one column of data and you can't really do much with this. So there's a couple more things we have to do before we can actually use this data. And to do that, we're gonna come up here and I've already written this in to save time. I guess I could do it again. This right here, all you do is you put two lowercase initials, could be two any two initials, and then after those initials, you put the row that you want and the column, starting with the column. So in this example, I would like to have a7 because a7 is the name of the ticker a9 is the name of the sentiment whether it was bullish bearish so on and so forth basically whatever data you want to extract from this side here that you would like to put in your table that is what you're going to be putting here for your names here so we have cma7 cma9 cma13 for strike price cma14 for contract type expiration date for 15 volume for 16, open interest for 17, and then we have size and price for 19, premium is 20, trade side is 21, consolidation type is 22, trade type is 23, reference price is 24, and then lastly, all the way at A30, we have, is this an opening position or not? And it is no. So that's basically all you do. You write down those columns and rows that you want, I would suggest making two rows of those abbreviated initials, and I'll show you what we're gonna do with these in a second. First, I'm gonna put the headers, ticker, sentiment, strike, contract, type, expiry, volume, open interest, size and price, premium, trade side, consolidation type, trade type, reference price, and is opening position? We will find out. So now that I've got the headers made and the rows and columns selected that I've wanted, how the heck do I get all the data over here to the right hand side from the left hand side? Well, that's where it gets pretty easy. First, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you go through the data, and I know this is a lot of data, but 
the way that the Discord chat exporter set up, it is consistent. But let's say this data wasn't consistent. This methodology will not work. So basically, all you do is you highlight this, uh, these two rows that you created with the data that you selected, and you just drag this down. And there's about 2,000 or so feeds here, so I'm going to drag it down all the way past 2,000, about right there. Let it fill in. And now all you have to do is hit Control F, go to Replace, and you're going to replace those two initials that you put in with an equal sign. And then hit Replace All. There you go. Now it's looking like it duplicated a couple of values, which is fine. I probably went a little bit too far down the list here, but that's okay. Give it a second to load there, quite a bit of data. But you can see how now I can work with this a lot, a lot easier with some Excel tricks that I'll show you as soon as this stops being slow. Okay, so this is our cutoff here. And this is uh, all of the unusual options for the second half of August and this month so far. So now, since we have this here, a little bit more organized and laid out, what can we do with it? Well, this is where find and replace comes in handy. So what we're going to do here, we're going to come here and we're going to search for strike Actually, let's just do this. I think if you just do the asterisk, that, that will disappear everything. Never mind. You want to do, you want to make sure you keep the data in there that you want. Okay, so got that back. Perfect. So let's do this. Since we have asterisks here, first I'm going to try to remove strike. Place with. You might want to copy and paste it over itself also, just to make sure that it actually is indeed values there. Yes, there we go, perfect. Okay, so strike is gone, perfect. Let's see if we can get rid of the asterisk now without removing anything else. Nope, still didn't work. So I'll have to delimit that one, not a big deal. And on this one here, the sentiment one will be a little bit easier to work with because all I gotta do is First, I'm going to take this whole thing and just copy it over itself. That way, I'll, I'll be sure that they are values. So for sentiment, we're going to replace cow green circle with nothing. And we're going to replace bear red circle with nothing. So now we're just left with the sentiment. This one here, we'll have a workaround with for this in one moment. This one is actually pretty easy. You go to data, text to columns, delimited. The delimiter will be a colon. Hit finish, and boom. Delete this now. Okay, next we have contract type. So we can hit control F, replace red circle with nothing. Replace green circle with nothing. And then we can replace contract type with the colon with nothing. Left with just the contract type. What's next? Expiration date. This is also pretty easy. You control F, replace. expiration date colon colon comma comma with nothing and you're left with the dates and you can see what I'm doing with this the same process basically the whole way so with volume same thing you're left with the volume open interest same thing you are left with the open interest Size and price. I'm going to come to that one last because that one's a little bit trickier since there's that ampersand or the uh, at sign in there. Premium. We're going to replace premium with nothing. Left with just the premium amounts. Trade side. We're going to replace obviously trade side 
with nothing. And then one more thing, of course, we're going to get rid of those green circle, yellow circle for mid market orders, and we're going to do the red circle. A little bit of work, I know, but hey, it's, it's worth it because once you see the end result, it's definitely worth it. Consolidation type, we're going to go ahead and replace, you guessed it, consolidation type with nothing. Whoopsies, that messed it up. Come on, Excel. Hurry up. Okay, so we'll have to delimit that one. All right, trade type. I think I forgot the uh, the colon, actually. That's why it didn't work. Perfect. Yeah, I'm going to redo this one. I forgot the colon, which will make the difference. And if you're not interested in the process, you can go ahead and skip to the end of the video if you want to see the end result. But I'm going to explain it further for those who would like to learn how I'm doing this. Consolidation type. This should work now. Perfect. And we just have a few more left. Trade trade type is already done for us. Uh, reference price. Replace with nothing. And then last but not least, other than the time and uh, size of price, is the opening position. Is opening position. And replace all. Okay, so now we're just about ready to analyze this spreadsheet. So all we have to do now is make a couple more columns here for the size and price. And then we're going to take this and we're going to delimit it by first we're going to do the at sign delimited to get the, uh, the, the pricing. This one's tricky, man. Uh, hold on one second. Let me try that again. So first we're going to do not tab. Let's do, let's try a colon. Okay, perfect. So now, and then here we take this and we delimit this by your at sign. Okay, so we have sizes and prices. Oh, you know what? But it actually messed up the order a little bit of this because we don't get a price on all of them. So I'll have to actually modify that data. That's okay, though. We have a lot of other data metrics that we can use. We're going to go ahead and keep the, uh, the uh, size here, and we'll take the price. And we'll, we'll work with what we have. Some of these may print with some blank ones, so we'll just work with what we have for now. So this is size. This is price. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. And now we are ready to analyze this data. Perfect. I'm going to get rid of this stuff here, this extra fat on the end, and we're ready to go. Everything looks good. Okay, so we just copy it all over. Ticker sentiment. Oh, strike price. Probably should have that in there. Strike. I think we're good. And we're going to go ahead and remove this size and price column. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so now we are good to go with the visualization. Okay, let's take a look here. All right, let's see what we get. And go to home and analyze data.
may take a second. But this is about 2,006 or 700 unusual option alerts uh, for any and every ticker in the market that came through and actually hit the feeds with it. And then all the data you see here, we just pulled out from those messages in Discord. And it's gonna take a sec to analyze this. And once it's done, we're gonna be able to immediately see results. So what can you do with this? Well, obviously, since we have the FOMC coming up and the Ethereum merge is supposed to happen between the 13th and 16th, you can see that September 16th, Excel's already figuring out that it has more volume than it does. And of course, it's gonna, it's gonna cause problems while I'm recording. Um, opening position, no, accounts for the majority of price. Volume and size appear highly dependent on each other. Volume and field premium appear dependent on each other. A lot of different data metrics you can use. Auto execution has noticeably higher volume. Premium appears highly determined by open interest, which again, that uh, basically summarizes our viewpoints on OI being support. And yeah, you can just pick apart this data however you want. It's, it's very incredible day and age to be able to look at stuff like this. I wish I could load a pivot chart to the table for you. There's one. Here's a frequency of volume. Uh, you can see that all of the volume frequency is how often. So you're seeing the volume come in at the four and 4,000 levels. So obviously the, it's, that's your psychological level for things like SPY. Um, now, if we wanted to even ask Excel about this data, we can. We can do sentiment with total open interest bearish versus bullish insights for volume is another thing you can do volume and reference price appear to cluster into two groups of five outliers strike and volume appear to cluster um, if you want to do it by, by ticker it says right here ticker SPX contract type put accounts for the majority of volume because most retail are clueless and bearish on the markets right now and you also have block block trades accounting for most of the volume Again, as far as the uh, consolidation type is going to be block. And then your bid and ask have noticeably higher volume because, again, that's where your professionals like to purchase their securities. But you basically see I can take, if, if this would have been 50,000 messages, it would have been just about the same amount of time to collect and organize this data into a way that I can visualize it. So I just wanted to show you that um, things are changing from market perspective. Um, if you want to come check out our Discord, again, we are a premium Discord selected by Discord. I didn't even ask for it. A very small select group of Discords are doing this. So uh, we utilize all the premium services that you probably already know about. Trading Ticks, uh, OpenBB, we have our own in-house bot. And again, we have our own working strategy that 85% win rate based on very easy criteria. So if you're afraid to pull the trigger or you're not sure of yourself you can do it, I've seen multiple people do it, and the success is great to see. So come be a part of it. Come try it out if you don't like it. No strings attached. But anyways, I hope you liked this video, and I hope this helps somebody collect some data out there.